Hey everyone, Max Power 10 here, and I'm going to do uh, a mini series on Dom, where I'm basically going to bring you each map in a one to two minute video and just go over some some tips to on each map would hopefully help you win some Dom games. Oh, okay. uh, for Terminal, I really believe C is uh, is a key uh, for for this map. It's very difficult for any team to control A and B, but if you have C, it makes it easier to control one of the other two flags. Right when you spawn, I would send five people for C and one person for either the A or the B flag, depending on what side you spawn on. And in this game here, we get blown off of C quickly. There's a couple of people new too big, and they blow us off of it. So we capture the A flag, and this team never gets B. So that with their mistakes, we get B flag, and now we'll push for C. And anytime you have two flags, if you want the other one, so we want C before we take it, you want to lose one of your flags. So we give up A in order for us to take C. And here they don't really leave anybody defending. For terminal, I like to control the A and the C flag because if they're spawning at B, I think the air support is a little bit more effective than if they're spawning at A. But for this game, we end up holding B. Um, they were pretty well nested into the A spawn, so we just left them there. Enemy Harriers incoming. And I use, I use different classes to attack than I do with defend, so when I capture a flag, I use one class, and when I'm defending a flag, I typically use another. Take out the air support. Everyone on your team should have an anti-aircraft class, and everyone should be willing to, to switch classes to be able to take out that air. You know, if someone's on a kill streak, let them be, but if you're someone just respawn, you know, just a simple, I got it, and blow yourself up, and then take out those Harrier, those pave loaves. When you go to attack a point, I would definitely coordinate, get two or three guys on it. And, you know, kind of that that idea of the no man left behind. You know, don't let one person go and take a flag by himself. I mean, help him out. Throw some some grenades, get up there, help take out some enemy players, and if you have the opportunity, jump on the flag and help cap it. Just don't let one guy on your team capture all the flags. And when you control C, you want to control C from Burger Town all the way over to the top of the escalators. So you don't want anybody to come up these escalators. You want to watch that ladder to the left. You want to watch that hallway. And you don't want them to come around the corner of Burger Town. So a lot of times I see uh, people aren't controlling enough of, around the C. And they're, they're too far back. Like they have three guys at Burger Town. And it's just they're going to keep losing it. Uh, you can have four guys controlling C, one guy watching the weak flag, so in this case B, and then you can have one guy hunting. So, until next time, Max Power out.